So hello, this is Radija Smallwood. I'm gonna be interviewing Casey um, for the clinical nurse leader and charge nurse role that she holds here at the hospital, Franklin Square Medical Center. <laughs> All right. It's a long intro. I know, right? Um, so my very first question for you is, how would you describe your role in the ED? Um, like you said, I am a charge nurse. I personally hate running charge because I'm more a clinical person mm -hmm. um, as opposed to um, worrying about disposition of patients. Unfortunately, that's something that the charge nurses are responsible for, right. watching beds being assigned. Um, sometimes when we have a really good secretary, we don't have to worry about that. Right. And then we can support our staff clinically. And I, I, I envision that as the most important aspect of my being charged. Oh, nice, awesome. And as far as like a clinical nurse leader and charge nurse, what would you say is the like differentiation? What is the separate? Um, so in terms of, so the charge is supposed to, on a daily basis, ensure the safety of the patients, ensure the safety of the staff, try to make sure that the people who are working together have a good mix right. and that facilitates good patient outcomes um, versus like an education or a clinical lead, we're responsible per, for providing nurses information to ensure that they can provide safe and um, good care, right. evidence-based medicine, standard of care. Right. Um, we're also responsible for ensuring accreditation that people are um, keeping up with their CMEs or continuing medical um, education credits. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, all okay. that stuff. Um, so I wanted to know what steps did you take to achieve your current roles or titles? Oh my goodness. So <laughs> I've been um, a nurse for almost 30 years. I have always loved emergency medicine, mm. um, and they kind of pushed me into the charge role, to be honest <laughs> with you, because again, I really dislike it because it's structured such that you don't have a lot of time with the staff. Um, so I, I wasn't really excited about that, right. but for me, I try to achieve a fine balance um, mm -hmm. So, and that was part of my clinical ladder project that nice. I had to do it. <laughs> okay, okay, I love that. Um, what advice would you give future nurses as far as the benefits on of taking on a leadership role? I think as a, a leader, you can set the tone, you can create an atmosphere mm. and, um, and enforce that. So people know that I, I don't take a lot of crap mm -hmm. and that when I'm in charge, you're gonna do your job right. or, or I'll send you home, right. you know? And I also believe celebrating successes. Yeah. So it's just the little things. Yeah. So if we have a good outcome, we kind of high five and we our jobs are very difficult. So we want to ensure that we're supporting each other, not only with tasks, but cognitively and emotionally too. Right. Um, so you said that one thing that you enjoy is like being on the floor with your nurses and actually interacting with them. Is that also something you miss as a clinical nurse leader when you, um, like the interactions with patients and stuff like that? Does that yeah. concern you as well? I think we all are adrenaline junkies. Yeah. And if we are not practicing clinically, mm -hmm. you, you don't get that um, catecholamine surge that you would just talking about a case. Right. And um, a lot of people have a hard time assimilating the didactic mm -hmm. and the clinical. Um, people can be very strong didactically, but their ability to apply it to a patient can be challenging. Mm -hmm. um, so it, once you can kind of combine those two and truly assimilate it, that's just a powerful feeling. It gives you confidence. Um, it also helps to reinsure that patients are getting really good care. Oh, thank you so much, I love that. Do you have anything else that you would like to say to these students um, as far as like any advice, honestly, as being new coming into the nursing field? Um, I know some people are hesitant about, you know, nurses eating their young and stuff like that. Has that been your experience or? I think um, 
Organizations are more cognizant of the challenges that nurses are currently facing. Back in my day, when I graduated, there was no such thing as an orientation. Mm. We just, once you were a licensed nurse, yeah. they assumed that you knew enough to hit the road running. Right. And um, so it's, it's really nice that our organization takes the orientation process seriously. Right. Um, and I, just to put a plug in for emergency medicine, for me, it's the best kind of medicine. I agree. <laughs> um, there's instant gratification, right? right? Mm -hmm. Which is always exciting. Um, there's also a lot of opportunity for education. You mm -hmm. know, oftentimes we are the point of contact for people who don't have health care. Right. So um, it's important from that perspective. Um, we have a lot of autonomy, mm -hmm. which I find very, um, satisfying it is because the more you know the more you're able to, to do, do. Mm -hmm. um, and even though y'all don't get a lot of clinical experience unless you do an externship right. don't um, don't discount emergency nursing right. because okay. um, you, you see everything yeah. right mm -hmm. it, it's a great I know that some probably are concerned that like they can't get into emergency medicine being new or like they've probably been directed to med surge. Do you have anything to say about that as well? So that used to be a gold standard, you know. Start you, in med surge. Yeah, mm -hmm. you weren't able to start in a critical care. So either ER or ICU medicine. Um, but because we are more focused on like externships mm -hmm. or um, our our orientation I want to say it's three months so really we try to afford the opportunity for you to be successful right I really love that oh thank you so much for providing this interview for us I think they're gonna love you and I'm really grateful honestly oh, well, thank you. it's a pleasure yes. I'm sorry my hair looks so no bad. you're perfect you're perfect <laughs> we work in the emergency room you get what you get yeah, <laughs> Take care. Oh, thank you